Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420, and today this is gonna be another one of those video series things, but I'm gonna start including more of the actual smoking. <laughs> um, I just figure, so this is a cannabis channel. It doesn't really make sense for me to do just, you know, basically to keep the, re the, the smoking to the reviews and the reviews only. Um, while I don't smoke all day every day, uh, I, I do feel that it's appropriate for me to smoke occasionally, you know, from time to time when I'm doing reviews like that, or not reviews, but videos like this, because honestly, that's what I do. I'll sit there and I'll smoke a couple bowls. I go on YouTube and I watch my videos. Like, <laughs> that's my process. So I feel like it, it would be, not that I'm lying or not that I'm like, I don't know I just feel like it's more genuine I guess and I just have to get over the fear of like smoking on camera and it's not a fear it's more of a nervousness like I told you guys when I first started doing these reviews I was nervous as ugh. it was the worst feeling in the world like the idea of me talking to a camera <laughs> especially if somebody was behind that camera was a no-go like nobody's here now but um, now I could easily if my girlfriend's behind there no problem uh, my homie or my buddies or whatever you want to call them like if they're standing in front of the camera or behind the camera I'm still gonna be able to talk do what I'm doing now it's just I've gotten a certain level of confidence with myself and my abilities, so I'm just excited, <laughs> I guess. And so I just wanna start including more of my personality, a little bit more me. Um, I'm, we're gonna talk about more of the products. So the reviews, the way the reviews work, like I said, I don't charge anybody for any of those things. Um, currently I, and, I, and i'll never charge farms for a review and i'll never take product for a review um just because i don't feel that like i feel that the second i do that then th that, that goes out the window the credibility goes out the window um there are other ways that i can work with brands though so little things here or there um you guys will start seeing um nothing crazy again i kind of just want to play with it and see how things go um, one thing i am really going to shoot for is to get a uh retail sponsor so what that means is a you know dispensary here in my state to sponsor my channel or, or not necessarily my channel but the videos um and, and i have a whole package and all that but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is I'm just getting more comfortable and I'm starting to figure out where this is going. So uh, again, I wanna say thank you to you guys for hanging out with me and uh, getting to know me. So as, as this progresses, you guys will get to know li like little bits and pieces um, of myself and what I enjoy, my personality, and sooner or later, my past. Um, <laughs> I had not the best of upbringing, so I kind of like, I, I legit am one of those people that I, I like closed off um, from like 15, before I was 15. That's like this dark, dark shadow that I never like to go to. Um, so I'll slowly start bringing those things out, not because of any, for the only real purpose behind that is just if there's anybody out there who's going through the things that I've been through, it would be, um, it would be unfair and unfair of me to not mention those things because, you know, it, it turned me into who I am. Like, yeah, I went through a bunch of stuff, but here I am, this is what it is, and that's that. So anyway, we'll get back into that. <laughs> Let me get back into the topic. Today I'm gonna be smoking on this stuff here. Uh, with that, let me smoke some weed and then we'll talk about some videos. All right. So, uh, the first video I want to talk about, <coughs> excuse me. So the very first video I want to talk about is by Philip DeFranco. Um, he's one of my biggest inspirations and it, it, as a YouTuber, just his whole show, the way he's, you know, he tries to stay neutral whenever he's doing a story. And that's basically, I want to take that kind of like set up and transfer it over into like the cannabis industry and if i can pull that off i think i have a shot <laughs> um but basically this video specifically he puts up like five videos a week um this one is about net neutrality so the internet is under attack is the the, the title of the video and then the reason why I'm gonna show it to you is for two reasons. Number one, it breaks down what net neutrality is. This is almost mind boggling to me that this is still a fight that we are having to have online. It feels like year in, year out, but it's not because it is once again, another example of what we constantly see companies and money over freedom and people. For those of you that have not heard me speak on this before, or maybe you just figured out what the internet is, the idea of net neutrality is a free and open internet. 
uh, what it means, what it represents, so that there's, you know, he, he gives you a really good explanation. And then also he provides a good explanation of why net neutrality is needed and the ways that companies are currently data favoring. If that doesn't make sense, go check out the video. Um, and so it, it gives you a window, like instantly you're like, oh wow, they're already doing that through this. What's gonna stop them once this you know, net neutrality is gone and it's not treated like a utility anymore. So it, it's really important for people who um, have any sort of desire, hope, or plans to do anything online. Um, and he just does such a good job explaining it that I don't wanna butcher it. <laughs> so I just highly recommend that you guys go check that out. Uh, the second video that I'm gonna uh, recommend is the <laughs> So I don't know if you guys watch uh, the life of Juan or Han or Juan. It's not Juan because that's my name. Um, the life of Han. Um, and uh, what he does is he goes around and like talks about different cultures, tries different foods. It's kind of like a, like a food travel type series. Um, well, this is a short video. It's only like five minutes long. But what he does is he goes and uh, he he like he goes and like hangs out in DC with one of his friends. And then at one point they end up doing pottery. And I swear to God, this is the funniest thing ever. Uh, Cooley, what's up? Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you again too, man. Yeah, I didn't know you had a full on gallery. This is, you really doing this. Well, now you know. Right, let's do this, man. Let's do it. Let's make some pots. Let's do it, baby. Are we going shirtless pottery, Dave? Um, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, I, if you, if like, okay, pottery, cool. I might be willing to try it, but I can almost guarantee you I'm going to keep my shirt on the entire time. And that's the only hint I'm going to give you. The rest of it, if you want to go check that out, the link will be down in the description. Uh, and number three <clears throat> is going to be high reviews. So I found this guy just digging through videos, trying to find other stuff. Um, I wanted a cannabis related video that wasn't just about the weed. Um, so this guy did an Oreo review <laughs> about Oreo O's. And the one thing I'm going to know is like, dude really committed to do this because he had to go and spend $17. And if you're paying that much and you had it mail ordered, my guess is you went to Amazon and dang, they got you, bro. Um, <laughs> but seriously, he paid 17 bucks for the video or to, to do the review. And so, you know, let's just help him out by going and give him a, a little bit of traffic and checking it out. It's actually pretty funny his personality is really good so th that's really what i like what i watch is people's personalities of how i remember this tasting as a kid but also being worth a 17 dollars cereal that i got shipped to my fucking house all right so i'm gonna stop fucking talking and um yeah we're gonna finally open this box all right um, but yeah, so with that, that that's that's it right there for the show. I'm gonna add a couple links in there, um, and we'll see what happens. But let me know what you guys think. <laughs> um, do you guys enjoy this format? Do you hate it? Do you think I should just stick to the reviews and maybe do that? Um, I really like the more feedback you guys give me, the better this channel is gonna get for you guys. And with all that. Uh, this has been Recreational420. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you're on Facebook, make sure you follow the page. And I'll be back again with you guys soon.